The Rams have an easy schedule. The division is not that difficult. Mm -hmm. And I know it sounds weird to have an easy schedule. Courtney and I were looking mm -hmm. at it today. That is not – their first four games, are, they could be 4-0. And, and there's no – I mean, listen, Seattle, Lance, who knows? San Fran, uh, with San Francisco, Lance, who knows? Seattle – and you know, a team yeah. that doesn't really have a quarterback. And Arizona's got all these issues. Yeah. They should be very easy in a division. And I am a little worried about the Tampa coaching situation. So you would think logically they'd be the team to pick. I just think it's way too hard to repeat in the NFC. What concerns me, and I know that we heard from Matthew Stafford at the top of the show, mm -hmm. is that elbow injury. Because everything was great when he was throwing in seven on seven on Saturday, but they're not they're shutting him down basically for all team stuff before they get back to their training facility, like when the preseason yeah. part of the schedule starts. If this is a degenerative issue, because Sean McVay initially likened it to a baseball sort of injury, so you're thinking if there's elbow soreness that somehow pops up at the wrong moment, that's make or break in winning games. Because the reason that they had to go out and get Matthew Stafford be able to, to be able to run Sean McVay's offense is because he has the intelligence to do it. He also has the skill set to do it. If you don't have him at quarterback, if there's an issue that you know pops up, and if this is sort of like an arth arthritic condition, if it's a yeah. degenerative condition, that really works worries me about this team's chances to repeat. I don't feel like we're talking about that enough because everyone's trying to say, yeah, it's fine. He was able to throw a little bit here and there. That management of that is going to determine how this season goes for the Rams. Arce, how concerning is that injury to you? Well, I think it, it depends on, on the way you look at it. Uh, Matthew Stafford speaking on it, speaks on it as if it's just a little soreness and he'll be able to manage it throughout training camp and, and he'll be good. Uh, I think if anybody knows anything about Sean McVay and the Rams, they have the easiest practice schedule in football, the lightest practice schedule. That's why they, along with the Cincinnati Bengals, who have Zach Taylor, who has Zach Taylor, who came from the Sean McVay coaching tree, were the healthiest team headed down the stretch because of the way they practice. So he's going to be very cautious about Matthew Stafford's injury. But like Courtney said, if it is degenerative and this continues to progress as the season goes along, I think that's an issue for the Los Angeles Rams in this sense. Whenever we talk about Matthew Stafford and she and Courtney did mention his intelligence, we talk mm -hmm. about arm strength. We talk about velocity. We talk about the ability to be able to use the entire field because of his arm talent. If that is gone, that does set this offense back slightly, especially with the weapons they have outside. And the only other thing I'd like to push back uh, with Mad Dog about Todd Bowles is this. I don't hear people screaming the same thing about Dennis Allen. I don't hear people screaming the same thing about Josh McDaniels. Both failed coaches, one, in, one for the Raiders, right? One for the Denver Broncos. And now with those guys taking over new teams, these teams have all of these positive outlooks. Todd Bowles, like many coaches who fail in their first stint, got to learn under Bruce Arians. He got to be a part of a championship winning team, kind of understand the way that those teams move. Also, you mentioned he went to Buffalo with Ryan Fitzpatrick. If it's week 18 and he is trying to get to the playoffs this year, he's going to be going wherever he's going or staying home with Thomas Brady. So we have to take that into consideration when we're just saying, oh, he was a bad coach with the well, Jets. I want I you mean, to tell I, me the I, I last what, coach that was with the Jets Ron, I, I, that was I don't know any what day good. I don't know what Dennis Allen, you want to kill him? Go right ahead. I can kill this. Kill, kill Josh McDaniel. He was awful, and, and, and we all know that in Denver. He was terrible. But the bottom line is, Bowles did not do a good job coaching the Jets. I mean, you can, we can debate this until the cows come up. He was 24 and 40. They had three straight. No, he didn't have a quarterback outside of Fitzpatrick that one year, but he, wasn't, he didn't do a good job. He yeah. was terrible with clock management. And if I was, a, I got to see him now. He's got Brady, mm -hmm. he got a big team, but still, I mean, that's a big ass for him to go to 24 and 40 in his first go around. Plenty of coaches have had bad starts, Belichick in Cleveland. Yeah. So who knows? But I got to see that. So I'll be a little worried about their coaching situation. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.